Hey there guys, it's AwesomeAlex99 and welcome back to another video where today I'm doing another haunt update video. I know I didn't get one out last week, I didn't really do much besides my inflatable display and I did a video on that, so I decided not to do a haunt update last week, but this week I did a whole lot more to my haunted house, so I'm so excited to be showing you guys what I have done. Uh, so yeah, it's going to be cool to see everything. So stick around, but before we get started, I just want to remind you to please subscribe. I'm trying to reach 500 subscribers by October 31st, and we are so close to that goal, and it would help out so much if you guys were to help me out with that. But yeah, let's get right into the video. So as you can see, you can always see the walls starting to get up. Not here yet, but we got most of them up and down the middle and stuff. So that is something very cool that we've done this week. Uh, so let's just get started uh, from everything that I've done from the entrance to the exit. Uh, so here you can see I got this wall up, same place as usual. But yeah, we got this wall right up here. And this could be our clown area right here. Sorry about all the bikes and scooters and stuff. I still need to move all that. But right here is going to be the clown theme basically. And I want to put a wall right here to separate the clown room from the dining room. I still haven't done that yet, but that's okay. I'm going to do that this week, hopefully. And on this side, you can see we got the whole wall up. And it looks great. You can just see how great the wall looks. It's great. Uh, if you want this wall, I definitely recommend buying it for a haunted house. They sell different versions of these for $20 each Canadian at Party City. So in the U.S., it's more like $15 each. But these are great. I see them each year at Party City, so I definitely recommend buying them if you're going to have a haunted house. But yeah, we got this up. It's our third year using it. Not sure how much longer it's going to last. You can see like just holes in it and stuff. I, it's not a huge issue. Lots of holes are just small ones. But we'll just see how long this will last. Uh, so moving on. Here there's not much done. We got the table and everything. This is going to be the dining room section. Like of course I'm going to have the wall right here. And then the table is going to be there and everything. It's going to be spooky. I'm going to have a few animatronics and stuff. But it's just going to be smaller the dining room this year. I feel like I don't want taking up a massive space in my haunted house. So this is going to be the dining room basically. Not much done there yet. The spider hallway has gotten lots of stuff done in it. Uh, so of course right here is going to be entry to the spider hallway from this. I may hang up like something that you walk through right here. I'm not sure yet but I might. But of course it's not spider web yet. But it's coming along really well. I can see this wall is new. We never had this last year. So this whole wall right here is new. Uh, we just got it up and stuff. And you can see we got our lights right up there. So they're in demo mode right now. So I can see those are going to be flashing right there. Uh, I'm not sure if you can hear the sound very well on them. But it sounds like lightning and thunder and stuff. And they're going to be flashing. This one always going to look great with those. Uh, you can see the toy boxes right there. We got our jumping spider. The dropping spider I'm probably going to hang right around there. Uh, and right here, we of course got this guy. May move him. I think he's good there though. But you can see I put this shelf here. Now this is usually uh, just my room, this shelf. But I decided to put it into the haunted house because it's colored orange and stuff. So I think it'll fit in well with the Halloween theme. You can see I got lots of stuff up here and on it. I might put on more stuff. I might take off some stuff. I don't know. And right up here you can see we got this mirror which is gonna be awesome uh this mirror i used to have in my room i took it down about two years ago to repaint my room and i just never put it back up because i never really liked it too much but i feel like in the hot house it'll look great and go very well with the theme so that's basically the spider hallway uh here we just have our lawnmower we can't really fit into the basement it's just too hard so we're gonna put something right here to cover it because we, we just don't need the lawnmower in the haunted house, and here's the only spot we can really put it. So I'm going to need to put a wall going across right there. Of course, we got this black stuff up and on the stairs because we just left it up because it d isn't in the way of anything. So that's just left up. But moving on, uh, we got the hauntress right here. It's going to pop out when you walk in. But this could be the graveyard area. And you can see we got Mr. Dark. This is the only place I could really put him. 
because my garage door comes out to about there, so this guy would definitely be hitting the garage door if we had him farther back. But right here is the only spot I can go because back here, I'm very limited on space in the dining room and the spider hallway is no room for him just because of how big he is. But right here is basically the only spot he can fit. And I think he's awesome. Now when you're walking through right here, it, he's in the perfect spot where he almost touches you. He's going to be an epic jump scare. Like you can just see how tall he is. He's like, I think it's like a one and a half foot clearance between him and the roof. So he is just absolutely massive, this guy. But he's going to be so spooky. And you can see... Over there, all that stuff on the floor is just graveyard stuff. Uh, except that pumpkin there. That's not graveyard, but all that other stuff is graveyard stuff right down there. So all that we're going to put around here. Uh, I might have either the Sim Scarecrow or Rusty outside this year. It was an idea that my dad told me that I should do. Uh, because I guess I'm going to have to start putting stuff outside sometime. Because I'm starting to run out of room up in my haunted house. But... I think probably next year we'll have more stuff outside, but one of those guys we might put outside because it'll be easier. And this year, I think we are going to put candy in them for people to grab. So it's going to be even more creeper than last year. I know last year we didn't really do it because of COVID, but this year we're going to hopefully put putting candy in the bowl. I still don't know which one, though. I can either do Rusty or the Sin Scarecrow. Whichever one I don't do is going to be in the graveyard, but they're going to look so awesome. But yeah, that's basically all that I've done in my haunted house so far, and Oh yeah, I also forgot to mention I got this wall up and those ones. But yeah, that's it for my Hot Shells update part 2. So much done. Uh, I have two and a half or so more weeks. I want my Hot Shells to be done by s Saturday or Friday. Uh, right the, the Saturday or Friday right before Halloween. I want it to be done by then. So I'm pretty sure it will be. There's not a whole lot more to do. Just got to put more stuff up there and organize everything. But it's going to be so epic this year. I can't wait. And yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Please like, subscribe, comment, do all you can to support my channel. And yeah, I'll see you guys on the next video. Goodbye.